forward to a, another season of Super League. I am, yeah. It was a, a great year in, in many respects for Wanchin last year, but uh, I'd say it was a disappointing finale. We was very consistent all year, but the two playoff games were argu arguably our, our worst of the of the season. I know the, the Challenge Cup run had an effect on that, but um, yeah, I'm desperate to go out there, but Warrington and uh, put a few put a few wrongs right, and we've had a, a real good uh, off season of training, and can't wait. How was the warm weather training? Did you enjoy it? Yeah, um, it was good to get away from the, the cold conditions uh, in, in the UK. Uh, it was very hot, uh, probably a bit too hot for me. Uh, I had to look after myself, but um, it was good to get out there and get the get a good clean ball in our hands and uh, get some skills going. And just out of his pre-season, I mean, not a lot of uh, Super League fans would know what what his pre-season entails for a rugby league player. It's yeah. a flavour of that. Man. Oh, it's pretty horrendous actually. I mean, it's uh, it's just uh, building up your, your fitness and strength levels and during the season it's not too hard, you're just maintaining the levels, but uh, there's been some horrible sessions, you know, you, they really do flog you and, you know, to, to try and get you as fit as you can and, and even the the weight sessions have been some horrific sessions, you know, trying to get as big and strong as you can and all the boys have really ripped in, they've, um, you know, done, done the best and the warm weather week was, was great, we've done some good stuff over there, so I think the boys are, you know, looking forward to the season started just to... Uh, just to get out of there doing all the fitness work, really. Yeah, yeah, we've uh, got two signings, uh, Joel Monaghan and Brett Hodgson, and uh, both have fitted in extremely well. Uh, so, uh, yeah, uh, both bring a wealth of experience to us, uh, both very well-known players uh, in uh, the NRL before coming over to uh, Super League, and uh, obviously Brett Hodgson, uh, we all know what he can do, and... Uh, and Joel's been a terrific player for a number of years in the NRL and uh, no, he's, he's really looking forward to um, making a real mark in the Super League. It's been a pretty whirlwind trip, but um, I've ended up here playing for a great club, with my brother, um, about to start a season, so I uh, couldn't have worked out better. No, I'm a, a big believer in things happen for a reason and you know, it's my time to move on and you know, come to a different club and, and different challenges for myself you know, and my family as well. So. No, it's exciting and uh, I'm really looking forward to this year. And uh, I think the last time you was at the Hallowell John Stadium was with Huddersfield and you played a part in knocking Warrington out of the, the playoffs. It's kind of ironic that you find yourselves at this <coughs> club at the start of the next season. Yeah, a bit of bragging rights I had finally after they did a, a couple of jobs on us during the season. So, you know, it's good to come here and, and, and have that win over the club, although the, you know, the, the local supporters probably wouldn't like me here saying that. But, no, I'm... It's a great club and, you know, it's a, again, it's a great culture and plenty of talented players, so you know, I'm very excited about this year. There are a lot of young talent coming through and just watching the team fall down there. That, that must be exciting as well for, like, for Tony and for, for like, the senior members of the team. Yeah, it is. Uh, it, puts, it keeps us on our toes, that's for sure. Uh, there's some really good animals in, the, in, in, in that bunch. Uh, some young kids, but there's some very big and, and strong kids there. And, Skillful as well, and uh, they'll only uh, improve as the year goes on with, with us uh, helping them. Yeah, the boys seem to be enjoying themselves and clicking already down there. Yeah, they do. You know, we've always we've always been like that at Warrington. You know, we never had any clicks in the team, and I mean, I've, a lot of youngsters coming this this year, and it could be quite easy for them to go into the own little group. But they've uh, they mingled with well, and really impressed with everybody. Can you handle all the pressure that's going to be on you and all the focus around you this year? Yeah, I'm kind of looking enjoying it. Uh, it's a new challenge. It's going to be different to back playing the NRL and um, you know, different atmosphere, different weather, different you know, facilities, everything. So I'm uh, really enjoying it, and I uh, can't wait. So you've had two Challenge Cup successes. You were hoping to go better in the league this time around, did you say? Yeah, uh, you know, I thought we've we made some great strides in that department. We was really consistent all year. We was in the top two all year. It was only the final game where we, we got pipped and, and got uh, beat into third place by, by Saints, but uh, you know, Old Trafford is a is a goal of ours and uh, Challenge Cup runs are great, we want to do that again, but we've also got our eye on, on Old Trafford, we want to make the grand final. And how are you finding the whole setup and the squad? Is it the, the impression since you arrived? Yeah, greatly. It's, um, it's a great setup, up the coaching staff, facilities, and uh, just the squad, and I think it's, it's generally a great squad and very, very strong across the board. Yeah.